in this video we'll talk about how uh, we went through and created this quick demonstration of uh, falling uh, tower with some smoke and debris This is the building. First, we prepare the geometry. So I have this V-ray scene. Extracted it and make it smaller. Some balance to the front facade. So I was concentrating on this. to UV so you can create the material this is the material all redshift material standard after that add the connectivity sub so you have a class in a plastic area that I'm not interested in my size to make it a little bit bigger and then unpack it it's not working then make a split to focus on this area this is the towards preparation <coughs> so I added a fuse so we have this point number instead of this so it will get rid of any unnecessary points connectivity is up so these are the pieces I added for each okay. so without it we might have some open faces, so I'm filling it, correcting the normals. And this area could be fixed also. Adding assembly with this uh, our prefix, adding a major sub according to the name because we have a name here. the split according to the area which is bigger than one so I mean I remove all the small parts extrude it a little bit convert it to VDB so I have a proper geometry then Convert the VDB back. <coughs> and we'll reduce it. Okay. Have a proper topology. Then tower or BT fracturing and simulation. So I'm scattering bones according to the density having this fracture RBD material fracture and then I'm merging it with the rest of the material adding configuration so I have the lower part to be inactive so from the visualization I choose this area and this one and make it inactive active inactive 
add in some constraint giving property for the constraint all using glue with high strength here I'm uh, playing with the strength of the constraint so I'm wiring the constraint side to the primitive relative bounding box I'm using the Y so here it will be strong weak 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 and weaker I'm binding the strength float and adding a ramp adding the multiplier this is just to see it and the byte strong, weak okay. running the RBT simulation but I have this vector that's animated like this so it will collide with the fragments and this is the area that is weaker this area is inactive and this is much stronger so the effect will be gradual and then I preparing I prepare the sourcing for the BDB the cache yeah. here yeah, I'm unpacking and blasting the inside giving the inside only where I added the deep resource with attribute triangle the length, the age, the maximum length so I'm um, calculating the length, length by V the length now if the length is more than that length here then remove that point if the length is bigger than the maximum length this also then remove the point and if the uh, normalized edge is bigger than this edge then remove so I'm ending up with a little bit of what I need also you can use it here also same thing same thing but different attribute this went to the pop network and here I'm importing the ground the static object of the falling debris I use a large amount of particle with some drag it should, it should be lower than this with some force and another force for the gravity and we'll get to the solver here it's for the pyro and adjusting the B scale, the speed, the spin having some debris also I'm copying it. Just give it a second. This debris, I'm copying it to the particle. So these are the debris. 
properly. Just cancel it one second because it's very heavy. Get a unique name, integer to string. So I'm adding the point index and caching it out. Also, here I'm copying it after uh, the particle that has small debris. After it comes, I'm just copying this small debris, which makes the scene very heavy, even they are not noticeable. I'm importing the smoke here, importing the debris here, and the grid, and some camera movement. And this is what we ended up with. Thank you very much.